Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Tahir. This is Inspired RC. And today we've got the Creighton on the bench. And you can see there, we've, we've just had a delivery. We've got some shoe glue and we've got some joining tape as well. Been waiting for this for a few days now. And um, really looking forward to getting the body reinforced. So I can carry on bashing and not hopefully damage this body. So guys, what we've got here is the 109 milliliters oh thumbs in the way 109 milliliters so it's the big tube and i've got two of these tubes for the creighton 8s um i'm pretty sure we're going to need both of these tubes we may need a little bit more just to do some touch-ups later on maybe so this this tube cost me 15 pound on ebay and i bought two of them so 30 pound for that And then the joining tape I've got is the orange version. This is the extra sticky version. It is um, around two inches wide, uh, around 48 millimeters, I think it is. This, the original roll had 900 meters on there. You can see there I've already opened this roll and I've used it. Uh, I've actually already done the shoe glue mod on my X Max and it's worked out brilliantly. So guys, this is a no brainer. You need to be doing this to your bodies if you are going to be bashing on them. So that is plenty sufficient there i've already done one car in it and i reckon there's probably two more at least in there so uh one roll will be enough that roll cost me eight pound and you'll probably get that from any builders merchants or any well-known diy store um you can get the same joining tape in the white version but this is the extra sticky one so hopefully we don't get any any of this tape peeling back up when we're doing the shoe gluing process as I said, I've already done this on my X Max, so I know that it works and I've got good results from it. So I'm expecting the same kind of results from this, from the Creighton as well, guys. So let's get the body off. Let's get the car off the bench. And then I'll tell you quickly what bits you need to take off it and how to prepare it. So I'll be back with you in two minutes. Okay, so we've got the body off now. And what we're going to do is we need to remove any plastic furniture that's on the car now. So you've got these two roof skid plates that are on here. And then you've got, you've got the adjoining piece that's underneath it as well. So take these six screws out. And the skid plate at the top will come off. And then you have this piece at the bottom, the brace. That will come away as well. But once that's done, then you've got where these clips join here. You've got some... There's just pieces, bits of rubber that are pushed through and anchor the pin down for you so you don't lose it when you remove them off. They do fall out, they don't go anywhere. So guys, we just need to pinch this and push them back out. Uh, that to all four. Uh, once that's done, then we need to remove all the stickers that are underneath, underneath the car. So you've got two on this side, you've got two on the opposite side as well. Then you've got two over here. And then two at the back there as well. Then you've got this sticker in the middle here. So you need to remove all them stickers, clean it all up, make sure there's no adhesive left, then give it a wash, make sure there's no grease left on there, or if you've got any greaseproof wipes, just give it a wipe down. So you've got to make sure that this surface is clean so the joining tape will adhere to it. So guys, I'm going to get that done now, and then I should hopefully be back with you in two seconds. Okay, so now all the plastics have been removed. Just put them away into a plastic container so you don't lose any of them. Uh, it's quite simple, but you can just put your screws back in if you wanted to, if, if you were unsure where they're going to go when you come to put them back in again. Um, the other thing to look out for is the ends. Let me show you that. Show you on this side here. The ends are quite delicate, guys. You need to just pinch them and push them back through the hole. Now... You don't want to be ripping these or tearing them or breaking them or anything because they're not going to work then for you. So just be take your time, be careful, take them out nice and gently. Um, the next issue that I had is with the stickers that are underneath. Now Armour have made these stickers quite tough, so they've designed these stickers not to be not to start peeling or anything like that. And obviously people run these things in the rain and all sorts, so they don't want them be to, to come off basically so I did find it a bit difficult to start to in the start to take take the um, stickers off so what I ended up doing is using a hairdryer I just quickly warmed the stickers up 
and once they got warmed up the, adhes the adhesive became a bit easier to take off so basically I started peeling it off and this it came off in one clean swoops basically so I've not had to, any difficulty with that but guys definitely warm the stickers up and then they'll come off in one go for you um, so next job now is to mask the car from the outside so you want to be masking it everywhere where you can might you might end up touching it with your fingers when you're holding this this body so grab it in your hand so like in that position there you want to be covering the whole of this whole of this front here and maybe some of this as well because you are going to be holding it like that to apply your shoe glue and you don't want to be getting any shoe glue all over the car body as well so that's going to be the next job before we do that i just want to run over a couple of things that i forgot to mention earlier on the shoe glue itself I did say how big it was, but I've got the clear version here. It does come in black as well. Um, I've got it. I've got a clear version just because if I do end up touching the body, and I get some shoe glue on there, and I know I don't mind to clean it in time. It's not gonna look bad on the car. It's not gonna be a splodge of black. Basically, it's just gonna be clear. Um, yeah, and the tape that I was using, I managed to find the front um, packaging for it, and this is what it says on it. So it's the Fiber tape extreme, it's extra sticky joint tape for plasterboards. It's 90, me 90 meters by 48 millimeters. In case you wanted to know. So guys, I'm going to get the masking done on this car now, next. And then we'll be ready to start applying the joining tape. Okay, so we've got this masked up. Just quickly show you around. I have gone a bit OTT on the masking now. I did masked my uh, X Max body when I did it but I didn't really go put this this amount on and I did end up touching the body in certain places so I didn't want to risk it with this one this one this body is still quite new it's just got a couple of marks on the front here and that's it really so what I've done is I've just gone round with it I mean you don't have to put any masking on if you didn't want to if you feel that you can keep your hands away from the body and not touch it with with any dirty fingers then by all means don't even bother putting it on but as you can see here what I've done is I've just gone round and, and thought where would I need to put my hand and like here for instance all my fingers will come across the front here so I just want to make sure that I don't get any any glue onto the body itself and I've done the same on the sides here so when I grab it here I'll, my hands will be like that for instance hold it holding the holding the body and then again here so that's why I've got so much on here um, I mean I've got a little a thin one inch Piece, uh, roll of masking but if you had a thicker roll you'd get this done a lot quicker it did take me a bit a bit of time but make sure you cover all the edges so you don't want any glue coming on to the body at all right so now that it's masked up the next job is to put the joining tape on now so with the joining tape I've got a couple of tools that I've just found lying around the house basically. So I've got a lollipop stick and I've got my son's knife. And this is good because it's the, the way it's shaped and it's all blunt as well guys. So you don't want to cut in this tape when you're pushing it in. And we'll use these instruments to push into all the creases and crevices as much as I can basically. I know this body is a bit intricate especially in this back area here. But as long as we get some tape onto that and then we can shove as much shoe glue into it we should be all right guys so a couple of them two things there then i've got one more stick and i'm using this stick to put underneath the tape so i can tell where the edge is because if this tape then if if you lose the edge it takes you forever to try and find this guy so i'm using one i'm just putting it underneath when i'm done when i've cut the piece off and then it's just stuck in there as soon as i'm ready again i'll just pull it off again um yeah, so what I'm going to do is quickly show you. I've already started, guys. Let me just get my trusty paint in. Just push it back a touch. Right, so I'll just get you a bit closer. So I've already started on this side here, and I just wanted to quickly show you how I intend to put this on. So here I've got two pieces on so i put the first piece on this this wide here i put that on and i've used my finger and i've used these lollipop sticks to make sure it's all 
pushed in and stuck down. Guys, you have to make sure the car is completely clean or else this won't stick. So make sure it's clean before you do this. So that's the first piece. That's the thickness of it. Then the next piece, I've overlapped it by around half. About that much there. And I've stuck that down again as well, using pushed it all in to all the creases and crevices. And I'll just carry on that pattern going across the truck. So I'm hoping to have a, a, a double layer of um, the joining tape all over the car. So what I want to do quickly, just, just to show you, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this part here. I think it's better that way, maybe. Right, so I'll just quickly show you how, how I'm going to do this part here. So I'll just push you over here. This part here, so I can just show you how to get into the creases and crevices there. So first thing, get your piece, measure it roughly. Let's see that much. As you can trim this down, but now's the time to make sure you trim all your excess off. You can't be doing this afterwards. It'll just it'll be difficult for you to do, guys. So what I intend to do here is let's start sticking from this area here, and then we'll work our way with our fingers all the way across here. So where the crease is. Run your lollipop stick or, or your finger or whatever you've got to hand it that you're going to use, whatever tool that you can find. And then just push it all in. So I like to use the end to press it down on with this as well. I mean, you can use this to apply the, the glue as well if you don't want to use your fingers to try and get into all the creases and crevices. So that piece is on. So the next piece will just go over the top of it and hopefully we'll get a double layer in this corner here and we just keep on building it up so work into your all the creases all your creases as you're going across so guys i'm going to carry on doing that this is going to take a little while but this is the time you need to make sure that your your joining tape is going to be stuck down if it's not stuck down at this stage you're going to struggle afterwards so once all this is stuck down then we're going to go around it with a glue gun and i'll show you how i'm just going to Make sure everything's stuck down with the glue gun as well before we apply any shoe glue. So guys, hopefully I'll be back with you in two minutes. Okay guys, that's finally done. Uh, before I show you that, I just want to just quickly say something. I have also masked the top of this, uh, the roof of the car as well. Now, obviously you're probably thinking, why has he done that? When you're applying shoe glue and you, you're applying all this tape, you have to have it on its back like this, so you, you tend to be rubbing it against any surface. So on my table here, it's a wood surface. I don't want to really scratch it because it doesn't have any protection on there at the moment. Uh, I just want to avoid scratching. That's why I cover the cover the roof as well. So um, with the with the tape itself, I've just gone around and I've put double layers on everywhere. You can just see where they're overlapping in some areas as well. Now, areas that I would probably concentrate on is the back here. Make sure you got enough tape in these corners around these edges around the back here. Make sure it's all stuck down. So once you've once you've finished and you think you're finished, just go around with something like this and make sure all your edges or your corners or your creases are in and stuck down. Same. Just systematically go around the whole car and make sure. Everything is stuck down. Once you're happy with that, then it's going to be time to start putting some hot glue on just to keep all this in place whilst you're doing the shoe glue. Right, so with the glue itself, I'll just quickly show you how I do it. Just clean that off. The glue itself is just a, a standard home crafting glue gun. Nothing special, guys. Just have enough sticks to hand uh, because you will go through a few of these sticks so guys what i do is push down in the corners and just put a stream in every crease that you can see let's add another stick in there okay 
So once you've gone through all the seams then just systematically go over it and just add and in between just do a couple of waves just to hold the glue in. So guys I'm going to go around doing all that now. You can see I'm just going to go around all these bits that could potentially cause me problems if I don't stick it down. And you just need to go through the whole car and make sure that it's all stuck down. Once you've done it all, go over it again, make sure you haven't got any corners or any creases that you've missed. And once that's done, we'll be ready to apply the shoe glue, guys. That's all done now. Let's quickly show you. You can see I've just gone around, squiggled it around. And once everything's stuck, I've just made sure I've gone around all the creases. Anywhere where it's got a potential of the uh, joining tape to be lifted up. So I've just made sure and I've gone over it twice just to make sure everything's done. Uh, no one's going to see it because obviously it's underneath. Um, so it doesn't have to be the neatest job. It just needs to do what it's supposed to is to stick the joining tape down to the body. So guys, that's ready now. Next step is going to be the shoe glue. So with this, you're going to need a few pairs of gloves. Make sure you've got some to hand because you're going to be doing this with your fingers and it'll just get everywhere. So as, as, you, as you're doing it, you're just going to need to get rid of a glove and then put a fresh glove on. So the shoe glue itself, let's open the packet up. So guys, last time I put this on, it went off probably in about maybe half an hour, something like that. It was a bit warmer then. So um, you have to be quick with this. Make sure you've got it goes on everywhere and I've got, as I said, I've got two, two tubes of this. I've got two tubes of this. So let's start. Just open the tin up. So I just start from one end. So I'm going to start from this corner here. I'm going to start from this corner here. I'm just going to work around all the way around the sides and then I'll come into the center and i'm going to start in this corner here because this area around the back here gets a lot of damage especially around this back lip here so i'm going to put as much as i can around here first make sure i've got plenty there and then make sure each one of these post um holes that i've got on all uh, the four post holes they're going to get a bit around there as well make sure i've got enough around there first them are the areas what tend to get beaten on and then obviously you've got the front as well. If you haven't got the uh, X-Max uh, front bumper, then you're going to need to put a bit of this on the front as well. So guys, I'm going to start. So just work it in with your fingers. Use the lollipop stick if you need to. If you can't get your fingers into, into a gap, but just make sure it's all spread on. It's quite thick stuff, so as soon as you put it on, it will just spread out. So it doesn't go very far. So just make sure you've got plenty on. And just keep on looking, bring it close to you, have a look. So I'm just going into, you can see where it's just a bit shiny. I'm just going into that area there, and I'm just going to work my way across. All the way across. And just be systematic about this, guys. So you make sure that you cover the whole car, and you don't leave any area. And then once you're done... Make sure you go over it again. So guys, I'm going to get that done now. And then I'll hopefully back with you. Once all the shoe glue's on and I'll show you how it looks. Okay guys, we've got the shoe glue has been applied everywhere. And um, we used probably, we, def we definitely needed two tubes anyway. I probably used about one and one and a half and then I went over everything again. With, the, with what I had left over just to make sure I got everything. So you, you're gonna need two tubes of 
the shoe glue. So areas where I put more extra glue in, so all the edges, all the edges all the way around, and then I put quite a bit into these areas here, and same on that side, so in these areas here, and then I've added more into these gaps here, this is all where these creases are, and then put put some on there as well. So, guys, if you have any leftover, concentrate at the back there, go around all the edges, and then around the front here as well. So, I'll get the furniture onto it now, get it all hooked back up again, and be with you in two minutes. Everything's back on again. Um, I did have a slight issue with these holes here because they're really tight and with the uh, joining tape on top of it is I was finding it a bit difficult to get the get the um, brace underneath to push through so I can get this to connect on top so it, it just meant a case of um, getting a small drill bit and just drilling through and just making making that hole slightly bigger not too much because there isn't a lot of margin for error over here um, other than that the pins went back in perfectly fine, no problem. Um, everything else is all good. So we're going to get it onto the car and see if it sits well on the car or not. Um, if the shoe glue is pushing the whole body up or not. So give me a second, I'll get the car on the bench. Okay guys, the car's back on the bench. And I've put the body back on. Just to save time, I've tried, I'll put the pin in at the front and I've done the same at the back. They both fitted in okay so i'm quite happy with that so I, I don't see any problems with that the body itself feels a lot more rigid it doesn't feel as flexible as it as it was before so i'm quite happy with that obviously the true test is going to be when we take it out for a bash and see if we damage anything touch wood we haven't damaged much on this on this car at the moment but it's better to be safe than sorry so guys this is a worthwhile mod and if you enjoy bashing these big cars, then get these bodies reinforced. So these bodies will last you a lot longer than what they normally do. So guys, obviously we're going to be taking it out for a bash to test the body. We also have repaired the fan uh, on the ESE motor. I did end up breaking a blade on the last bash that we did. And I did say in my in my repair video for the fan motor that the fan isn't available the fan is available but it's not available for us to buy until november so horizon hobbies and spectrum do supply the fan it's just not available to buy now that's a good two months away guys so i'm quite happy that the fact that i've, I've tried to repair this and we'll see if it does last that repair and if it doesn't not a problem we will order the original fan as soon as it becomes available uh, so guys make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you share make sure you smash the bell so you're aware of this next next video that lands um it might be a, a video of this being bashed around again might do some more night runs with this as well guys it was super fun last time i took it out i might do some night runs with the x max as well at the running track location um see how that works at night as well guys i've also got some more um parcels arrived for the x max so i've got a bearing set for the x max and we've also received the replacement rear light bar and i do have the original bumper for it so i might look at remounting that light bar in a different way so it doesn't get as beaten on as it has been doing um, as I said, that light bar, that light kit is still working. I can't believe that's still working after all the abuse it's taken. Um, this light kit is all working as well, guys, and this is taking some abuse as well. So, guys, make sure you subscribe and smash the bell so you're aware of this new video that lands shortly. So, guys, um, hopefully I'll see you in that video soon. It's been a pleasure yet again, and see ya.